okay uh, so now let's uh, let's look at conditional expectation function conditional expectation even y equals y is denoted by okay and its formula is actually straightforward you know uh, so for finding expectation of x you know you use the pmf of x here it's conditional expectation of x given y equal to y so you want to use the conditional pmf of x given y equal to y okay that's it summation x x p x given y x given y is that fine yes sir okay so let's do a problem okay Okay, so what I'll do is I'll fill this uh, with the joint PMF. Uh, so let's say this is uh, um, point one, point one. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. Okay. So now what you have to do is uh, you have to figure out what is expected value of x given y equals zero, and what is expected value of x given y equals y. okay do this so when y is zero means when this this is a column right y is zero and y is one means this is a column okay are you done so what is this is it one by three yes it is what about this one by seven very good is that fine everybody so can you uh, tell me how to do it first you have to find the conditional pmf so because you know we have to condition on zero so we are going to find the conditional pmf of x given y dx value zero first okay uh, so what is that well it's a joint so if you want to find what is the probability that x takes value zero given that y dx value is 0, it's a joint divided by the marginal of y at 0. So what is the marginal of y at 0? It is 0 0.3. So this is going to be 0 0.2, you know, uh, so this is going to be 0 0.2 by 0 0.3, okay, which is 2 by 3. And this is going to be 0 0.1 by 0 0.3, which is 1 by 3. Okay, and then it's just straightforward uh, because if you want to find the expectation of x given y equal to 0, 0 times 2 by 3 plus 1 times 1 by 3, which is 1 by 3. Okay, sir. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now, notice that, you know, uh, this expectation of x, conditional expectation of x given y equal to 0 is different from conditional expectation of x given y equal to 1 okay which means you know you can think of this as a function you know this this particular this particular uh you know thing can be thought of as a function of y right yes or no yeah okay like for example g of zero is one by three g of one is one by seven okay okay so uh, it's a function you know uh, the domain is basically the set of values that y takes, you know, it's a range of y is the domain of G. Okay. And uh, the co-domain is the real line. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question. Suppose I consider this transformation G of capital Y. Okay. So Y is a random variable, right? Hmm. So G of Y is a random variable where g function is defined in this way yeah and if i find expected value of g of y what will i get any guesses okay let me do this will it be expectation of x very good it is okay it is the expectation of x okay i'll tell you you know this is uh <laughs> you know uh 
this is not very surprising okay i'll tell you why okay uh, so expectation of g of y is expectation of basically so what is expectation of g of y well just write the lotus you know what is lotus summation y dy dy y okay this is by lotus right expectation of g of y yes or no okay and what is g of y g of y is this into dy right which is what now what is this this term this term is x given y yeah okay now what is this product it is a joint right because conditional is conditional of x given y is joint divided by the marginal of y so if you multiply the marginal of y with the conditional you'll get the joint right yes or no now you can switch the order in which you do the summation and you'll get this now when you are summing with respect to y x can come out can you tell me what is this term px absolutely this is the marginal of x and this is nothing but the expectation of x is that fine okay uh, so this g of y function is sometimes also written like this okay so it's the same notation expectation of x given y equal to y is just that you don't write equal to y sign okay you just write it like this Okay, so this g of y function is actually this function okay this is the notation which is used for g of y in literature is that fine mm -hmm. okay so basically we can write it in this way expected value of expected value of x given y equals expected value of x is that fine mm -hmm. okay 